Hello guys, welcome to the channel. Today we are playing Witchy Life Story. Without further ado, let's get right into it. Yes, let's go. Hmm. <clears throat> well. <clears throat> body one, body two, body three, body one, body. Two. Oh. Okay. Hmm. I'm gonna take my time. Okay. <clears throat> So body, let's see, that's the fairest, and probably somewhere there, mole, player name, alright, oh, black dress, flashy top. <laughs> Can I just say I love the fashion in this? I love the art style so far. This is so cute. Long dress. This is cute too. Hmm. Yes. Celestial, yes. Last one for the hat, hat, hat. Yep, I'm cool with that hat just now too. Let's get right into it. <laughs> I'm excited. So far it looks so pretty. Achievement unlock. Welcome to Flora. Hmm. It's loading for quite a while now. My name is Kurt Von Teasel. <laughs> I am 18 years old. Wait, can I change the Von Teasel part? And I have a crow from a crow, a crow familiar named Ramsey, like the chef. I dislike listening to my grand and people and drama. I like my familiar Ramsey and witchcraft and being me. Everyone in my family thinks I'm hopeless, which is why they sent me here to the village of Flora to prove I'm worthy of having the Von Teasel family name. Or whatever. Honestly, I wasn't listening all that much when my grand told me. Well, I think this is it. Kakak. <laughs> yeah, the village is pretty small. Do people actually live here? We need to go to the town hall, right? Grand said something about that. Alright, Ramsey. Whatever. It was there. Oh, Ramsey has a little pouch on his back. Well, I guess it was Grant's choice to send me here. The rest of my family just wanted to disown me. Oh. Either way, I'm here, aren't I? Isn't that enough? <laughs> when they could have just accepted my genius. <laughs> Let me do my own thing. Allow me to work on that experiment. Accept my genius. But no. <laughs> So I acted out a little. They deserved it. And don't tell me you didn't think it was a little funny. <laughs> I like the expression. Alright. I need to get my frustrations out somehow. No, Crudes. That's not how you hold an ant a thing. Oh, I've never heard of that before. Crudes, why don't you wear the traditional Von Teasel garb? A Von Teasel shouldn't speak like that. <laughs> Are you sure she is really a Von Teasel. Maybe someone switched her at per- <laughs> Oh crow. Yeah, I know. It's better not to give them any mind. And they're not here to say things. But they're still gonna judge me at the end of it all. <laughs> sure, let's head to the town hall. The mayor is supposed to be expecting us or whatever, right? Okay, so which one? This is- this- yep. That, that looks like the town hall. I think this is it. It's such a little cute. Honestly, I love this already. No, you not. You don't have hands? Use your beak. Hello, I'm Ruth, the mayor of Flora. Can I help you? The mayor. I'm Kruitz Von Teasel. Kruitz? Yes. Von Teasel? Yes. Is Margie with you? Margie? Marjoram Vo Von Teasel. Marjoram. Oh, my gran. Nope. 
I see. Will Majorum be joining you later? No. I see. <laughs> well, this is awkward. Grand um, Majorum said you'd be expecting us? Well, we were expecting a Von Teasel, but truth to be told, we were expecting... <laughs> The letter? Oh, that's right. My grand said to give this to you. You take a letter out of your pocket and hand it to Ruth. Ruth opens it and starts to read. You notice her face growing more and more. I see. I asked Margie if she could help us with our harvest festival during a critical time. And Margie sends me her grandchild, who needs to prove she is worthy of training. Uh, Ruth, was it? Are you okay? <laughs> I'm sorry, pardon me. I lost focus there for a little. Are you sure? I should have just expected something like this is all. So you're in trouble. Just a little. But you do know that you do know what you're doing. Yes. And more. For the most part, but sometimes I don't. Uh, for the most part. <laughs> I like her expressions. It's more of whether I want to do what I know I should be doing. Then tell me, Cruz, was it? Why do you need to prove you're worthy of training? Shouldn't you be finishing your training at your age? <laughs> I guess. Oh, I think it's time for my morning nap. I see. The mayor skims over the letter. Mm -hmm. This letter also men mentions something about a magazine. Magazine? My grand mentioned a magazine? Why did Grant have to mention the magazine? Coven po Covenpolitan? That sounds familiar now that I think about it. That's right, it's a witchcraft tips magazine, correct? We have a villager who is an ardent reader. Do you now? Just your luck. It was all a big joke, really. No harm was really intended. Oh, we must have written something wrong or something. Like something provocative. Though, I guess the jade eggs, wheat cleansing, mushroom tea, <laughs> wheat cleansing, <laughs> pushed it a little too far. But I wrote all the spells under the end, Elias, Avon Nelson. So it's not like readers knew it was Avon Teasel, which my grand shouldn't have been snooping through my grimoire in the first place. Or rather, Avon, Avon Elset's grimoire, even though the whole thing was made up. Of course, of course. So we shouldn't be expecting any of the same shenanigans? No! And did your grandmother explain what you'll be doing here in Flora? Helping out with a festival or something? Yeah. I kind of only half listen. We're hosting our annual harvest festival, the, Flor the Floralia Festival, in two weeks. As you know, harvest festivals... As you know, harvest festivals are held to bless our villages and lands with prosperity and abundance. However, for the past, well, for the past more than several years, I'm afraid, our harvest festival has been lacking and thus flora has grown smaller and smaller. And this year is looking to follow the same pattern. It's why I reached out to Majorum. I feel like all our energies are just off somehow. I was hoping she'd help us with our festival, but you got me instead. <laughs> Perhaps this task means Majorum trusts you. It seems odd she'd send her grandchild to complete such a task if she didn't. Hmm, more like she wanted to distance me and the family. Sometimes space is just the thing we need. Either way, I suppose we'll just have to make do. How about I show you around and introduce you to some of the villagers? Alright. You, Ruth, and Ramsey make your way down to the hall. Ruth knocks on an office door. Come in! Hello, Mel. This is Kroots, the witch who'll be helping us with the festival. Oh my goodness! Hello! You look around at Mel's office. You notice all the candles, incense, charms, and magazines. She must be the ardent reader. You must be skilled in aging aging magic you look so young that's because she is this is my friend's grandchild i see i see <laughs> mel is my second in command she's been a big help coordinating everything for the festival this past years yep yep 
And this year is going to be the best. I just remembered. I have a meeting to go to. If I run, I should still make it on time. Mel, it's right down the hall. Mel runs out the door before you can say anything. She has a lot of energy. That she does. I suppose we should go ahead and make our way around the village. Lead the way. Okay. Um, so we can go to wherever? This I think this one was blinking. Or was it because my mouse was, my mouse was over it? That's right, we do have a store in Vlora. Somehow, I always forget about this store. How do you forget about a village single store? <laughs> you should be able to buy some spell materials here. You approach the shop and try to open the door, but it doesn't budge. In fact, the store looks empty. You should try coming back tomorrow. Yes, tomorrow. Ugh, okay. Alright, who is this person? This is the art studio. My granddaughter, Nisha, should be around here somewhere. Oh, what the heck? Now I've got to clean up your mess again. Nisha, is everything okay? Ah, yeah. I just accidentally knocked over some paints is all. Uh, who are you? Nisha, th that's not very polite. I'm Cruz, your witch for the next two weeks. Weren't we expecting someone a lot older? Cruz is my friend's grandchild and a witch in training. A witch in training? We don't need a witch out of train. It'll be fine. Crude is a Von Teasel after all. Mm hmm. Well, we should continue without introductions. Sure, see you around. Bye. You turn and whisper to Ramsey. I get the feeling she doesn't like us very much. Aw, but I like an art studio. Who is this? You walk to the town square. It's in a state of disarray. This is where we hold the Florelli. <laughs> this is where we hold the Florelia festival. I know it looks a little chaotic, but it'll come together. I'm sure. Jonas can be a pretty dependable. Can be. Jonas, are you around? Hey, Ruth. Whoa, is that a crow? Did you befriend it or something? Ramsey is my familiar. Familiar? Is that what they call pets these days? Cruz is a witch. Ah, oh. Jonas steps back a little. What's his deal? Our usual builder injured himself, himself the other week, so Jonas is taking over his place. What is with me? I'm swallowing a bunch of my syllables. Yep, tomorrow is my first full day in charge. How are things going? Good, I think. Everything should be in tip-top shape by the end. By the festival. Good, good. Well, we'll be on our way. Nice meeting you. Nice meeting you too. Well, I think he's scared. Jonas walks away at a brisk pace. Next one. Bakery. Oh no. You approach a cafe. Let's see if John's around. Hello, Mayor. How can I help you? Oh, we're just stopping by. This is Scrooge, the witch helping us out for the festival. Hmm. 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 Have you met Mel yet? Yes! Hmm. Jeanne and Mel are married. Oh, really? <laughs> so one is like low energy and one is really high energy, I think. The call! I mean, um, oh, that's nice! Hmm. Well, we'll be on our way. I just wanted to give a quick introduction. Goodbye! Oh, <laughs> wrong voice. Jeanne walks off and tends to a customer in <laughs> this. Not much, there's not that much distinction in the voices, but I'm trying my best. <laughs> Jean can be quiet, but he's a wonderful baker. Make sure to stop by for a treat sometime. Oh, I love treats. Mm. Speaking of treats, I'm hungry. This is my home. Let's see if anyone is here. You walk into the home and hear someone playing the guitar. That must be Devin. Devin, can you come here for a moment? Oh, um, sure. Ruth? Wow, this person looks uncomfortable. Maybe we came at a bad time? Devin, this is Groots, the witch I mentioned. Hello. Devin is friends with my granddaughter, granddaughter Nisha. They'll be writing the music for our festival. Mm, that's great. I think it'll be wonderful. Well, we should let Devin get back to work. Nice meeting you. Mm hmm. Devin shuffles their way back upstairs. Okay. 
You slow down and put some distance between you and Ruth. Psst, Ramsey. Do you get the feeling people here don't like which Ruth turns around. There you are. I thought I had lost you. I think it's time I show you your home. It's the one with the garden. Just this way. The one with the garden. This one. I think that's my home. Whose home is this? So... Where do you want to go? Um, how about... Oh, I can't go there. Home? You walk into a small cottage. Oh, cozy. Wow, it seems perfectly in order. Our previous witch used to live here. I'm not entirely sure who maintained it, but I, ho but hopefully it's to your liking. Hmm. It's a little quaint. It'll do. It's perfect. This cauldron shall... <laughs> This cauldron shall serve us nicely. Yes, of course. Make sure to check your mailbox in the morning. That's how we send in our orders. The garden is just through that door. You'll find all the gardening equipment you need out there too. Then there's your wardrobe and bed. There's also this moon altar, the last witch set up. She used to decorate it with items she found on Flora. I think that's everything. We are glad you're here to help us. Mm -hmm. I'm afraid our village. <laughs> I'm afraid. Sh I'm afraid our village tour has tired me out. I should let you get settled anyway. Tomorrow is your first day on the job. Sure. Um, thanks for the tour. Of course. Goodbye now. <coughs> nice, nice. Yeah, all of those introductions were a little awkward. <laughs> Ugh, why did Grand do this to me? You don't want me here, and I don't want to be here. Getting this own would have been so much easier. There's got to be a way to get out of this. Think, Roots, think. Wait, I've got it. There's a calendar here, right? Let's take a look at it. Okay, I could spot it right away. I should probably spend some time and look around the room first. Yes, this is it, summer. First day, full moon, festival. See, there's a full moon on the 8th. We just need to be as perfect as we possibly can until then. Then, on the full moon, we'll perform a ritual that'll solve all of their problems or whatever right there and then. No! Cheating? How is that cheating? It's called efficiency. Do you really want to be stuck here for two weeks? I didn't think so. I didn't think so. Do I really want to go back home though? Hmm, I don't know. But we need to get out of here first. The rest we can figure out later. Ah! Yeah, I guess it's time to get some rest. I'm going to need it for tomorrow. Pretty calendar. I am in love with the art style so far. <laughs> it's very pleasing to my eyes. Summer, so 100, 100 hours. Um, wardrobe. Okay, so I can change my style. So for the first day, I'm going to be wearing this, what I'm wearing right now. Okay, so is this the altar? But I want to look at everything now. Though I guess getting some rest is a good idea. Oh, so... <laughs> Am I... <laughs> okay, alright, I'll go to rest. Are you ready to end the day? Yes. Pretty. Like it. Is it morning already? I think it's time for beauty magic. Can I sleep a little longer? Let's get back to that experiment. Huh? I have work to do? No, I thought that was a bad dream. <laughs> well, maybe if you didn't remind me, I could have stayed in my ignorant bliss. And everyone will be amazed. Yes, yes. I will go and check my mail now. Mail, mail. Dear Kruitz. Alrighty, what do we have here? Looks like our first request is from Ruth, the mayor. Let's see what intentions and associations we can pull from her letter. I'm sure it's nothing to worry about, but I've been feeling a little detached from everyone recently. I've especially feel dis disconnected from the festival. I do still care, but who knows? Maybe some incense could help me work things. 
Word two things. Um, sincerely, Ruth. What are these? Detached from everyone. Disconnected from the festival. Still care. Looks like Ruth needs some relationship focus and sense. With a pink ingredient and another one associated with Pluto. So basic. Good. This won't take long. Grumble. Grant always blow things out of proportion. Fine. I'll quit complaining and keep reading. Jeez. Except. Crutes. It smell and eyes. Eyes? 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 It smell and... Oh yeah. <laughs> it's the person writing the letter. Crutes. It smell and eyes. Anniversary soon. Man likes magic. Perhaps a potion could help us celebrate throughout... Uh, perhaps a potion could help us celebrate our current and future happiness together. Would be a good gift. Jean. Anniversary. Celebrate our current future happiness and current. Okay. Accept the thing. Hi, Roots. I hope I'm not bothering you. Could you craft some incense that attracts positive energy? Ideally, something that promotes tranquility. Maybe happiness too. Thank you, Devin. Attracts positive energy. Tranquility. Happiness. Accepts. Accept it. Accept it. Okay. Yeah, none of this seem too complicated. I guess it's time to get the materials and ingredients. We can go to the general store to purchase bottles and stuff or get to get ingredients from the garden. Which one do you think we should do first? I should open my grimoire first? Yes, I'll make sure to have a habit of a Checking my inventory and active orders. Press G to app. open your grimoire. Flip through the pages or use the tabs to go to different sections. Mm. Okay. Oh. Perhaps we can have something from here. Okay. So. So now we go to the garden or village shop, right? <coughs> Through the door we go. Let's go. Garden, garden. Honestly, it's a little creepy how well maintained this garden is. Do they really not know who did it? Yes, I know it's my problem now regardless. We gotta pick water and weed everything. At least it seems like we got a compost bin. We can probably use that to turn weeds into fertilizers. That should help the plants grow a little faster. Yay, gardening. <laughs> okay, so... Gardening overview, the use of gardening tools to tend your garden. First, harvest the flowers and the herbs with the shears. Make sure to water them after you harvest to ensure they bloom the next day. Though the rose, lavender, rosemary, and chamomile take an extra day to regrow, you can also pull the weeds while using the gardening gloves. The weeds can be turned into fertilizers and the compost. Fertilizer helps the plants in your garden to grow faster. Alright. Let's take a bunch of these. Bloop, 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 bloop. Wait. Are we supposed to take everything? Mm. Water everything. All right. Mm. What is that? So I guess that's about it. Mm, oh, there's another one. Do I just collect everything? I mean, everything is in bloom right now. Well, I like collecting things, so I do not know any better <laughs> currently. So I'm gonna just do this. Mm, next one. get them weeds and water everything let's go back um, what about this collect 
Ah, making combos. Achievement unlocked. Alright, so I guess I'm gonna be leaving. Gardening done. To the general store now? Alright, let's go. To the village we go. Hello, my name is Jimena. J Jimena? Jim, Jim, Jai, Jimena. J Jimena. 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 <laughs> my name is Jimena. <laughs> you must be Cruz, the new witch. I knew it was a good idea to keep my old stock around. No good throwing things away that someday someone might buy. I also carry some antiques at a premium price. My daughter sends them to me when she's off on her travels. She always says she will visit with her girlfriend, but we'll see. You know what? I'm suddenly feeling very generous. Take some of this resin and these bottles, vials and sachets. Sachets. <laughs> Free of charge. Though promise me next time you'll come to my shop. You'll buy one of the... Uh, Though promise me next time you'll come to my shop to buy one of the antiques. No one here has an appreciation for old things. But now it's time for my mid-morning tea, so I must close the shop. Enjoy the supplies. So I can't even buy anything. Okay. <laughs> yeah, that shopkeeper was pretty generous. But did you see the price tag on those antiques? I hope she was kidding about having to buy them. Anyway, it looks like I've got everything to start cranking out these spells. Let's get back inside and check out the crafting altar. Let's go. Mm. I've got some flowers, herbs, and some bottles, vials, and stuff as base materials. So let's craft some pests. <laughs> so let's craft some spells. Of course, I don't know what spells. But I'm sure I can figure it out from the info in my grammar. Pretty sure it said what plants match with associations. So let's open it up and go from there. Okay. Open your grammar and go to the order tab to see the current order. Click a character portrait to pin the order. Then go to the plant section to match the symbols from the orders to plant. Click the chest of the drawers to view your available plant ingredients. There's a lot of things. There should be three plant ingredients in total. Make sure to check the type of spell the villagers wants too. You can see what the base material matches what spell type in the recipe section. Click the base materials on the altar to cycle through the ones you have in your inventory. Once you think you have the right ingredients and base material, click the cauldron to craft the spell. I probably need some help with that, but no worries, no worries. So, how to pin the other? This way? Is that the way? Yep. Um, so, incense for figuring out her healing. Incense. Mm. She needs pink love thing. For incense okay so I think I got what we need kind of how do I do I do I go here what do we need for incense we need resins resins and hollyhock what about the Pluto thing um, Hollyhock mm, Incense We're good. Ah. I'm confused so I'm actually confused so Colors have anything to do with them? Ruth need incense for figuring out her feelings. Incense for figuring out her feelings. So Oh, 
Oh, okay. I gotta click there. Focus. Okay. And sends for figuring out her feelings. Mm. I don't get the Pluto and the Hollyhock and the love. I, I'm confused. I'm a bit confused about that one. These are all the things that we can do, perhaps. Okay, no worries. Maybe we'll use Hollyhock and um, Rose. about the Pluto thing, yeah. And Allium. We'll just try. We'll just try it out. This one. That should be it. Mm -hmm. And click the pot. Finished. Reconnect incense. So we do have the incense. Mm. Okay. Got it. A potion for his anniversary. Anniversary Potion um, Get the rose And Calendula And Hollyhock Alright Let's try that out shall we Happy love potion Finished Ah, oh, so pretty Let's go for another one. All right. Okay, so you're gonna do some incense with rosemary, some rosemary. flower and hollyhock <gasps> I don't have enough hollyhock mm. Mm. I have two of them am I forgetting anything no. your treat <laughs> okay okay one crow treat coming up Achievement unlocked. Treat time. Now that's enough for today. Grant says too many treats are bad for your big. Wow, this is a fancy altar. I'm totally going to decorate this thing. Looks like there's a spot for my tarot deck too. Perfect. Ooh. Okay, so. Ooh. I think I'm gonna be passing a bunch of these to, to people, so... How exactly am I gonna do that? Okay... Okay, so I don't think I can do any of this anymore, so I still need to craft spells? Fine. 
Oh, I must have missed something. Ah, I just need the yarrow actually. I I look at that differently. I I didn't see that clearly just now. But no worries. Yarrow and let's go. Hmm, I don't think the spell is quite right. I should check the spell the base material. Okay, okay, sorry, sorry. Ah, oh, the best the base material. Should be incense. Oh, my bad. Blessing incense. Okay, finished. Hmm, all done. Time to deliver these amazing spells. Now, how do I mail them? But what if I just sneak in a little extra? <laughs> um, time to deliver it. And then everyone will be super impressed and my grand will realize my genius. <laughs> hey now, a witch is allowed to dream. Let's just get this done. Hmm. You ready to head out, Ramsey? Wait, you're not coming with me? I've got to do this on my own? Please, Ramsey, don't make me do it. But what if I give you some tasty bug treats later? You know they're your favorite. <laughs> Fine, be that way. See if I ever help you with anything. See if I ever help you again with a situation you loathe. Alright then, let's go to the village. Time to meet this little stupid Ramsey. I don't need him. <laughs> I'll have to make him a special snack. Made off. Dang it. Why do crows have to like everything? Whatever. I'll just make these deliveries. How bad can talking to strangers in a strange village be? I thought you were actually gonna make a special snack, you know? So that next time he'll come with you, but... First delivery recruits. You've got this. You walk up and knock on the door. Chris, good to see you. Can I help you with something? Yep. I've got your order. It... Uh, I think it's this one. One batch of reconnection incense handmade by yours truly. Wonderful, how exciting. These should help me get into the swing of things. Are you not excited about the festival? Oh, I wouldn't say that. It's just been hard to motivate myself recently. Perhaps my old age is finally catching up to me. How long have you been the mayor of Flora? Hmm, maybe 40 or so odd years now. 40 years? That sounds like a long time when you put it that way. You must be like the best mayor to ever to get elected for 40 years straight. Now, I don't know about that. Mostly, I ran uncontested. Flora is a small village, so there aren't many people vying for my position. Though, I suppose Flora hasn't always been small. So much has changed over the years, especially the festival, and perhaps not for the better. Sorry, you don't want to hear the grumbles of an old lady. No worries. My spells can fix everything. I'm used to grumbling old ladies. I've got some revenge magic. Uh, <laughs> this must be the ego I fret so much about. <laughs> Though I could probably use some of that energy. So could my gran. <laughs> She's always all crudes. Magic doesn't fix things. It aids in the fixing of things. There's a difference. Grandmothers. We are the ones that ruin all the fun. <laughs> Does that mean a grandmother shouldn't be in charge of the festival? That is a good question. Young people like you give us all this energy though. We've got to do our best to keep up. I love this festival because of all the energy of everyone coming together towards a common goal. Not that everyone isn't working hard now. I know they are, but somehow it doesn't feel the same. Well, for me at least. Oops, here I go again with my grumbles. Wait, you were only excited for the festival because other people were excited about the festival? I wouldn't say that's entirely true. Because that would mean you were never truly excited for the festival. Now just hold on a second. It's part of my job as a mayor to make sure others are excited, not just me. 
I think I know why your friend uncontested all these years. Being mayor is annoying. Being mayor is exhausting. Being mayor is torture. Torture. Having to keep everyone happy to make sure you're happy? That sounds like... <sighs> Rude? It's that same expression from yesterday. <laughs> Did you lose focus again? <laughs> I can't with the expression. What the? Greetings, Kruts. Are you excited about the festival? Uh, it's just around the corner, you know, and there's still so much to get done. What's going on? I do hope you enjoy your stay in Flora. We're so happy to have your assistance during this time. I must get back to my mayoral duties if you don't mind. Have a lovely rest of your day. Ruth subtly but definitely pushes you out the door. Uh, is this usually what happens on deliveries? My grand did not prepare me enough for this. Alright, next one. Talk to John. Sniffs. What the smell? <laughs> you approach the door to John's home and see the door slightly ajar with smoke coming out of it. Oh no, John. Are you in there? My first day on the job and my client might be burning to a crypt. But at least it's not my fault. Crumble. Cough. <laughs> Crumble. Jean is in there. I've got to get him out. Hang on, Jean. I'm coming in. You run into the house and see Jean covering his mouth as he tries to fan out the smoke with a towel. Let me get the windows. You run out. <laughs> you run. You run around, opening all the windows. Once open, smoke quickly dissipates from the house. What happened? Are you okay? Jean. Jean looks down at a baking sheet full of burnt something. I see. Um, well, <laughs> I've got your potion. Happy love potion, this one. Jean, maybe ignoring you, starts cleaning up the burnt mess. I guess I'll uh, just leave this on the counter. Crumbles. I'll take that as a yes. You put the potion on the counter and take a peek at Jean. He looks very angry. Maybe chatting will help take his mind off things so it's your anniversary hmm. do you have any fun plans hmm. how long have you been please leave huh now okay yikes he's me <laughs> my other delivery was much better at least there's only one more left Okay, one more. Talk to Devin. What's up with him? Maybe he overbake his, you know, dinner for the anniversary. You arrive at Ruth and Nisha's home, hoping to catch Devin. They seem pretty nervous the last time you met. You should probably do your best not to make sudden movements. Hi, I'm um, Crutes, right? You're here to deliver the spell? Yep, yep. Just let me find it. Here it is. Thanks. I hope Ruth and Nisha likes them. Hmm. They seem to be more talkative today than yesterday. You wonder why. Back home, my family used, uses this to cleanse our house once a season. It's just a little ritual we do, but I've always liked it. You have a witch back in your village? Yep. He's been around for ages. Everyone in the village loves him. Though, I think our village is a little more open to magic than Flora. Not that that's a bad thing. Yeah, I can't tell if folks are happy to have me here or not. Their welcoming was a little odd. Though I guess I wasn't exactly what they asked for. I'm sure they are. Sorry, I didn't mean to upset you. Huh? I'm not upset. You're not? Not at all. I just have to show them how great I am. What they think isn't my problem. I've got some tricks up my sleeve. I don't know what this one is, but... What what kind of tricks? The fun kind. Like pulling flowers out of a hat? Like turning people into toads and then throwing those toads into a cauldron of boiling water and then eating. Just kidding. <laughs> or am I? I'm a little jealous. Even with your quirks, quirks, 
You seem like a very secure person. I very much enjoy being me. Even though you must feel lonely not knowing everyone here. Anyone here. I have Ramsey. And your grandmother sent you here without telling you the complete truth? How do you know about that? Also, the pressure of not failing so you can complete your training must be a lot to deal with. News travels way too fast in small villages. Is this what it's normally like talking to other people? Because I suddenly feel very... heavy. Oh no, I did it again, didn't I? Nisha says I have a way of reaching into people's souls and crushing them. Is this witchcraft? No, it's just me projecting my anxieties. Sorry. Wait, does this mean you are nervous? <laughs> Wait, does this mean you are nervous? Only because you're made. Because I'm nervous too. Nisha didn't tell me anything about having to compose the music for the festival. I just thought she wanted to hang out all summer when she asked me to come here. And when I confronted her about it, she just said oops and thought she mentioned it. She what? Time to rise to challenge. Human friends are overrated. Let's curse her. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> and show Nisha who's boss. I don't think I have that kind of energy. Be bold, Devin. Be brave. But I don't want to be bold or brave. I just want to hang out this summer. I feel you. <laughs> so now the pressure is on to perform in front of a bunch of people. I don't know. Oh no, Devin is starting to look like they did yesterday. Time for an emergency subject change. How long have you and Nisha been friends? She was one of the first people I met at school. In a way, in a way, I would find this drawing slit under my door every morning. Eventually, I put two and two together and realized it was mornings after I'd been practicing my music. One night, I stayed up and waited for the drawing, and I caught Nisha in the act. She'd been making drawings inspired by whatever I was playing at the time. She was embarrassed when I caught her. But as soon as we start talking, it was like we'd always known each other. Wow! That's like, almost romantic. Sounds like true friendship. Um, almost romantic? <sighs> yeah, it kinda is. Achievement unlock. Aww, you flirt. <laughs> I guess anything that feels like fate is. Maybe both of us being here in Flora right now is also fate too? Hmm. Oh no, this is awkward. Time for another emergency change of subject. I don't have friends! <laughs> that was not an emergency change of subject. Wait, like none at all? That explains a lot. <laughs> That's fine though. I'm not great at making friends either. Honestly, I think it's pretty hard. Opening up to people. Putting yourself out there. I can relate. Maybe us nobodies of Flora should stick together. You know, I'm usually not this forward with people, but I think I can, I'm feeling pretty good about this. Okay, mm -eh. Okay. So does this mean we're friends now? I would say so. We're friends now. We're friends now. I'll let you get back to work. I'm sure you have lots to do. Bye, friend. Bye. Nice! We have friend. <laughs> we have a friend in this lonely village. A new friend that isn't a familiar? <laughs> Thanks, the triple goddess. That was the last delivery. I can't tell if my heart is fluttering or pounding. Which means at least I get to go home now. I think I'm ready for a nap. Home. Let's go and take a great big relaxing nap. I'm home. Delivery is completed and I'm exhausted. Kaka. How was my first day? I think I've decided these people are weird. Yes, I'm trying. But this whole fitting in thing is hard. I guess everyone seemed friendly, except the John guy. He kicked me out of his house, and before you ask, no, I did not set it nearly on fire. He did. I actually tried to save him. But I guess Devin and I are friends now because they also don't have friends, or at least not many. And the mage seems a little off. I don't know, it's been a weird day. I think I just want to go to sleep now. 
Yeah, I just gotta keep it up until the full moon. And then all will be sorted. Oh, let's go back. Let's go. Let's go back. <laughs> let's go to bed. Yes, I'm ready to end the day. Good night. Sleep tight. Yawn. Kaka, it's morning again. And we have more orders already? Looks like we gotta. Looks like we've got another full day ahead of us. Guess we better get it started. Alright, guys, I think I'm gonna be leaving that here for today. I can't wait to see more of the game. <laughs> um, yeah, that's a little intro into our game. Oh no, I forgot. <laughs> forgotten the game's name yeah so i guess that will be it for our witchy life story for this episode see you guys in the next one if you guys like what you guys see watch please leave a like it really helps a lot and if you guys would press the subscribe button it also helps my channel a lot so yeah thank you so much for tuning in see you guys tuning in <laughs> see you guys <laughs> thank you so much oh my god thank you so much for tuning in see you guys next time bye bye i did it i did it i did the first episode